wish I would have known sooner what to do with people's feedback. I had one of my Rodeo Queen clients tell me today that she, who is a rather young girl, um, had been approached by a complete stranger and told that it seemed like she was looking somewhere that she wasn't looking during a presentation or speech on stage. And this was my advice to her, and it's my advice to you. Rodeo Queen slash Life Edition. Feedback is subjective, and sometimes it can be taken out of context. Like the person providing it is out of context. It's not your responsibility to adopt anybody's feedback. It is not even your responsibility to care about their feedback. Probably some of the best advice I ever received was from a fellow 4-H leader. And she said, you know, it's just important to figure out what works for you. Now we were specifically talking about horses, but that's just true in life. It's important to just figure out what works for you. You can take other people's input into consideration, but you don't own that if you don't want it. Look, the more social media grows, the more exposure rodeo queens get, and the more unwanted sometimes feedback they get. And at the end of the day, we call that life kids. And life is what we are preparing for when we are competing as rodeo queens. So it's just a good rule of thumb to remember. You're going to get feedback. Um, it's not other people's responsibility to not give you feedback. It is your responsibility to, to know how to handle your feedback in a healthy manner. I want to know what's the worst feedback you've ever received. Let me know in the comments.